I, I have been following the debate in the wake of the commission of these crimes. Um, there were some very interesting articles in the media this weekend, Mr. Peter Wickham and Mr. Mafu Farley. And I would just wish to say that, again, there's no runaway crime situation in Barbados. If you plot crime over the last 15 years, you can see that reported crime in Barbados is actually lower than it was um, 15 years ago. And as to our murder rate, in this region, when we have a murder rate of 30 per 100,000 as an average, based on the figures this year, our murder rate is 6 per 100,000, considerably lower than the, the regional average. And if I had an option of three, per, three places to live in this, they would be in this order, Barbados, Barbados secondly, and Barbados third. It would have to be Barbados. Mm -hmm. But I have to admit that our society is, is changing. Last week I spoke about the situational crime prevention measures that we need to take, the locks and bolts and the police patrols, the surveillance cameras, the improved lighting, and so forth. <clears throat> but we should all pay some emphasis on secondary or social crime prevention. There's a cry need to address some of the criminogenic conditions in our communities. And social crime prevention is designed to prevent just that, to prevent people from becoming offenders through changing the social environment. In this situation, in the wake of that tragedy, it is all too easy to cast blame, to point fingers and allocate responsibility and blame for our particular um, agencies. But I, I think we need to move beyond. The sad reality is that in some of our communities, there's the, the specter of young, highly volatile men living disorganized and chaotic lives in areas and communities of deprivation and decay. And that has to be, to be addressed. Quite often I go back to the report of the National Commission on Law and Order, which reported in June 2004. And if you read it, there is a penetrating analysis of the changes in Barbadian society, um, what are the reasons for some of the antisocial behavior in our communities, and very workable recommendations. In case you've forgotten, that commission was led by a very distinguished Barbadian academic, um, Sir Roy Marshall, and um, other persons right across the spectrum of the community um, was part of um, that arrangement. And so I recommend it to all of us, policymakers, those of us involved in law enforcement, as a coherent and holistic approach to dealing with these others. I spoke about the very low crime rate in our country, but I also need to say that some of our neighbors are moving ahead and dealing with initiatives to address these matters. Some of them are into programs with the Inter-American American Development Bank aimed at violence um, reduction. And so I'm asking for a coherent and holistic approach to these matters. And finally, I hope that my announcement today will start the process of healing and ease or go to some way to ease the anger that we all feel over the events of the past weeks.